Now there's the chance I have misjudged the previous book in this series and it seems like I'm not gonna make that mistake again. Today I'm gonna be reviewing the final book in the first five segment of the Dresden Files, which is called Death Mask. So this is one of the most fascinating books that I've read recently. It is one of those books that really has turned me onto a series. Now previously I've said that this series has been fine really overall and then by the, by the time we got to the fourth book I really thought it was a great book. But then now I've realized this is a seriously solid series that's going on. This is a really good, beautiful character piece that's going on. A great world, a great mishmash of conflicts, and this great big world and conflict that's beginning to spread. I, I'm really starting to really grow attached to it. The thing is, I say that in like basically every single review I do for this series, so I'm gonna go into the specifics real quick. When I say I misjudged the previous book, I think that I mean to say that it's not really the introduction to the big supernatural wars that are going on, which is true, it is the big introduction, but that seems to be not the whole point of the main series, while I thought that that was really what was, it was turning us onto. However, now reading this book, it seems that they've toned away from that again. The war isn't as big and as important, it seems to be uh, an ongoing conflict, but not one of the important things that we're really focusing on. Instead, it shifts the narrative into a really introspective and focused piece on Dresden's character himself. It's really, really awesome in that way, because these are my favorite types of stories. At the beginning of the story, we did have some of those emotional moments regarding specifically Susan, and especially his uh, previous, you know, friends, uh, you know, the previous girlfriend and his mentor. Those have been reasonably important. At this point, we finally come to a really big standing in the series where we've realized this is the point that Dresden's in. His life is in shambles. He really has so little. And we've come to this realization in Dresden that comes in the final chapter that I'm not gonna spoil, but it is really interesting and it's very subtle but it's something really beautiful, I think. It really speaks uh, a lot about the character, the author that are writing this. They're really, really strong. They're really doing this subtly, and they're doing so many subtle things that so far I haven't really noticed too many of those, but here's the really big, important, subtle thing that you really don't notice, but it's very, once you see it, it's very obvious that it's a crucial changing moment in Dresden's life. Suddenly every single character is immediately fleshed out. I, I'm really loving this book. This book is really, change the way I view Dresden characters. Before this, I thought they were pretty co cookie cutter, you know, uh, by that I mean like not very archetypal, but very clearly like they didn't have too many personality traits. But now that their relationships between each other have grown to a point where I can, I can really, really love them, it seems like each character is very, very original, not in their main archetype, but in their relationship with each other. And that is where the real beauty of Dresden blooms, I think. It's the relationship between the characters. There's so many awesome, original, very enthralling relationships that I'm seeing going on. And it's very interesting because to see that this is how much I would have normally expected in one book. But now I realize that to do this well, the amount of pages he had in the first book just couldn't have done this. This had to be done over the period of five books. And now that we've gotten to the final really low point, in the, the first low point in Dresden's career, we see this just influx of emotion and this influx of change happening. And that seems to be one of the clear motives throughout the entire series. The author, Butcher, he seems to be mentioning this quite a bit. Changes, changes, changes. Like that's a really important part of the story. And it suddenly, re I realized this, changes the story. That is the entire series. The series is about things changing and how, how one can deal with that, how one can stay strong within that. And within this book, we get his first answer to the story, the first really grounded, philosophical answer where he finally comes to it subtly by the end and just for that really hard a strong ending where Butcher really goes ahead and gives an answer I'm immediately respecting the series a lot more of course this is no four or five star book still um but I am thinking that this is really really solid because there are, are those good things that I've really thought about the introspective elements that are really coming forward but then there's many bad elements that I, I'm not a huge fan of. The reason I say that for this book is that there's two different conflicts and it seems very fragmented in that way. It's very well done to kind of try to stitch them together, but it's stitched together in such a way that the narratives kind of flow throughout each other. It's not very touching. They don't touch, they don't interact the two conflicts. It's like if one of the conflicts were gone, the other would be totally the same. Because of that, this book lacked a cohesiveness. The previous books, although they didn't do character as well as this, they didn't do changes as well as this, they did have a very good cohesiveness. Everything in the story fit together, and if you remove one of the things, most of the story would come falling apart. And I did expect that for this story as well. There's two main plots that are going on, but somehow they just don't intersect. They don't come together in any way. It's just that one happens and you do the other, then the other, then the other, then the other, and they both resolve. One resolves and then another resolves separately. They're both very separate stories. So yeah, that cohesive thing is a, kind of a problem. I think it's a little bit of a bummer. It does speak that, you know, he was trying to put these two together, but these two plots had to be uh, put into a book and they were like very minor plots, I guess, reasonably minor, and they were just like kind of 
offbeat stories that he just wanted to weave them together just to make like a book out of them. And I can see that that's happening. Well, although the plot is kind of weird in that situation, the characters have grown exponentially. So what I'm really excited to see is if these characters continue to grow so well and if the plot can be fixed and kind of like put together in a more cohesive and uh, structural manner. And I think that that would, I, I feel like that's where the series is going. And I'm very excited to see that. I think I should speak on one problem I've noticed throughout the entire series in general, which is that many of the chapters in Dresden books seem to have a lack of forward momentum. If you're a quick reader and you read maybe one book every two days or one book every three days, something like that, this shouldn't be a big problem for you because you enjoy books and you're constantly going forward anyway. But for someone like me, who really has to actively engage in the text to understand and uh, enjoy it, it's very difficult for me to go through to the next chapter. Now, where this isn't a problem is Game of Thrones. This is one of the things I talk about in that review, which is going to be airing eventually. Game of Thrones has a very strong forward momentum. Every chapter seems to make you want to push on to the next chapter just to see what happens because it's not just a cliffhanger. But it really is. I'm so invested in what will happen. I'm so excited to see what will happen next that I push forward. Now, Dresdens don't have that. They really have a good, you know, they, they end off on cliffhangers and then the next page begins on a, a strong, good joke or something like that. Very exciting. But between those two, if I end and I put down the book, I have no intention of picking it up. It's very hard for me to sit down and pick up the next chapter as soon as I put down the previous chapter because it feels like, okay, well, that's the end of the chapter. I'm, I'm good with that. Whereas if you put down, you can't really put down a Game of Thrones chapter after you've read it. You need to move on to the next one because of just how much the story pushes you forward. That's my best way of explaining it. And it's these kind of books that really make me, you know, really enjoy it. This is the kind of stuff that's in King Killer, that's in my favorite series, right? They, they really make me want to push forward and read the next chapter. And if it doesn't have this, it's, it's not particularly going to be my favorite series as far as I know right now. And I don't know if it'll change because it's one of those things that I feel like it's just a natural talent of the author to do this. But other than that illogical mess of a co constructive criticism, uh, that's pretty much all my review for today. It's a very much like a the fifth book, right? I can't really talk too much more about it. And I do want to make this review short. I'm 100% not going to make it peace talks, but I'm hoping for battleground. That seems like it's going to happen more likely than not. So if you want to see that, go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to be reviewing every single Dresden book in the series until battlegrounds coming out. Uh, I'll be doing that as quick as I can. And I am kind of binging those at this moment. If you do want to see that, subscribe and like this video if you did enjoy this review. If you do enjoy my style, if anything like that, I would really like to hear your comments in the comment section down below. Very much like to hear your thoughts on the review or on the book. Did you enjoy this book? Like, did you feel the same things that I did about the forward momentum thing? I'm very curious about that. Other than that, if you do want to see what books I'm reading right now, where I'm right now in the Dresden books or what books I'm reading right now, you can go look in the description and I have linked to my Goodreads. So go ahead, follow that if you'd like. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.